Laurie and her team at CCF act as a rapid response unit that regularly rehabilitate and release wild cheetahs that have been injured. Oh my gosh, it's just horribly thin. They've so just been called out to collect an orphaned cub whose mother was hit by a car. This size cat's not the size that you can end up putting back out into the wild. In order to get him healthy, he's going to have to have a lot of attention, and that makes them too habituated. Although it can't be released back into the wild, this cub will enjoy a permanent home with other cheetahs that CCF have rescued. There's a board right here, and they're putting this in. They're going to squeeze the cheetah to here, and then we're going to inject it with anesthesia, okay. and then it will go to sleep. Okay. There we go. So the cheetah has very, very low genetic diversity, and it is something that is from about the time of the Ice Ages. So if they're all the same, they can't really adapt to anything, and that's a big, big threat to a population. They also can't fight against any virus infections, any infectious disease, because again, if you think about it, if they're all the same, mm -hmm. they might all do well, or they might all not do well. Yeah. And that's a huge risk, because if they all do badly, then we've lost our cheetah population very yeah. quickly. As well as researching wild cheetah behavior and writing the book on how to care for them in captivity, Laurie and her team regularly screen their resident cats and share their knowledge around the world. So they're checking Darwin's pulse here, they've checked his eyes, we've taken a blood test, and um, now they're going to take a sperm sample, which is essential for um, the genetic research. Do you want to come and look at the sperm? Sure. It looks very good. It does? Cheetahs have about 70% abnormal sperm. Wow. But take a look. Number one, you'll see a lot of, it's like <laughs> fish in the sea, okay? <laughs> I'm guessing swimming in circles is not a good thing. No, it's not. You want to straight. See many going oh in circles, gosh. though? Despite the high number of mutated sperm, this is a relatively healthy sample, which will be frozen and stored in the CCF gene bank. There's very few that aren't moving. We've had cubs born using our frozen sperm from Namibia in the past. So all of these are pieces of the research that we do conduct here as well. Well, the cheetah's survival is really in humans' hands. Growing their lifespan, helping reduce stressors, understanding what the diseases are. But it's not just the cheetah and nothing else. It's the cheetah within a system where there's people and there's livestock and there's wildlife. And we've got to make that all work.